This week on Scam School, we're back with David Rangel with a trick so simple a child could do it. Or a drunk. It's pretty much the same big one of the, right. Who's having a good time tonight? <laughs> All right guys, back again at the Rusty Mule and we are hanging out with David Rangel who's gonna blow our minds. We're all gathered around you as if you're about to enchant our hearts. I like candy. <laughs> This trick's about candy. You know what this is called? Uh, Breaking Break an egg. Because I told them earlier, they didn't know. They don't know about snacks. <laughs> I'm really good at knowing what I want. If I put the napkin over it, like, see, if I want uh, the yellow one, <laughs> I know it's yellow. Like, if I want the green one, see? Better. Yeah. He's, he's, he's a damned wizard. You guys don't believe me. You know the problem with Mike and Ike's that I have with Mike and Ike's is I hate the Ike's. Not a fan of you know, the Eisenhower administration. It was Eisenhower. Started a business with Michael Jordan. He's real young at the time. I hated him. I voted for Kennedy. How old term. are you? <laughs> Seems legit. I'm a time lord. Uh, <laughs> so the idea is not to get the Ike's. Wait, which ones are Mike's? Which ones are Ike's? The red ones are the good ones. See if I take this out like this. Red. See. Uh, red. No, I'm kidding. Look. Red. 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 What? <laughs> Wizard powers, this is not fair, and you will teach us your secrets. <laughs> and this Hello there, Team Tanky Texas, right here at the Domain Corridor. 6006 I-35 between Staffney and Manchac, and everything must go! Hi, googly dig dog. We got all the domains. Your dot pizzas, your dot me's. Even have the credibility of a dot com or a dot net. If you got a domain hankering, we aim to please. Get all these domains and more by heading on over to domain.com. Use promo code SCAMSCHOOL at checkout and get yourself 15% off. How do we stay in business with these discounts? I don't know. What I do know is our most loyal customers who trust their lives with us will do whatever it takes to better our internet. That's the power of a .com or a .net. Most reliable of domains. Domain you can't help but trust. But don't focus on that. Voices in my head say these domains have got to go. Ain't that right, Mr. Happy Pants? Yee-haw! <laughs> Woo-wee! David Rangel, let's say I'm having a party. Let's say I want to blow everyone's minds and make them eat Mike's and or Ike's. How do I do it? Okay, first, these are, I lied. These are not Mike and Ike, these are hot tamales because I didn't want to separate the Mike and Ike. Right. I grabbed a uh, piece of cardboard and I cut a circle, draw around to make a circle, and this is going to act as a false top. Boom. And you just cut it to where it fits inside the cup. I would just cut a hole in there. And then I put these 14 cent washers in the middle. And you end up working that in. Then I Googled a picture of Mike and Ike. <laughs> and I got this. This is from my own printer. This is not from like a laser printer or shiny or anything. It didn't matter. And that just sticks over it. And I just uh, put this on the inside. This is one of those things that magicians realize, which is you don't need to run if you're not being chased, right? right. Where it's like nobody is going to assume the moment you hold up a giant jar of Mike and Ike's that you're like, oh, well, I bet that's just a handful of Mike and Ike's sitting <laughs> on top of a picture of fake Mike and Ike's. Nobody thinks that. So that sits there. And if I load the hot tamales up to top, it'll sit pretty far. Then I get real Mike and Ike's. <laughs> and I dump them on top. I'm gonna have a little less than what I started with. <laughs> but it looks real. And when I dump some out, it looks like I actually dumped a whole bunch of different colors. You show the Mike and Ikes, you have everyone essentially verify they're real by actually eating them. And I pass them out and I do that back and forth. And then since I have so many on top, I can dump some in my hand and I dump away. I don't wanna have a peek and I just place this back. Hand them out, show them they're all different colors, different flavors. And then I really do it. I said, no, if I want the red ones, I can get a red one. So then I get my other, uh, Five buck hardware store magnet. Pink between my two fingers. It's gonna grab onto that watcher pretty good. This is kind of, it's kind of. Well, I guess it, since it's a magnet, it can also, if you happen to have a Ferris ring, it'll it'll attach on yeah. there as well. Yeah. Sure. If you glue another napkin on the bottom, you can do a really cool flash. And then I just dump the reds. Another gag. I didn't want to do it here because it's very messy. Mm. I say, you know why I don't like Mike and Ike's? Call the damn sugar. And I just pull sugar everywhere and make a big mess. Dude, that is a fantastic <laughs> gag. I'm gonna do this for the kids. They're gonna be blown away, <laughs> and you're gonna toast me, and everyone's gonna say hooray <laughs> for David Rangel. 
Now, once you make your gimmick, you're gonna be convinced that people are checking it out. They're scrutinizing it with the thousand laser eyes. Trust me, nobody freaking cares. It's just there for camouflage. Hell, you can even doodle on it with a few markers and nobody's gonna notice. Speaking of which, let's give a huge thanks to Mr. David Rangel. Head on over to his website, thedavidrangel.com. And of course, we should be best friends at twitter.com slash wood. And drop all your comments down in the comments where I read all of your comments. That's usually where I'll comment. And of course, you can send your favorite bar scam to brian at schwood.com. Next week, you're not gonna wanna miss it. I'm gonna run back over there where my flip-flop came off a while ago. It's, I totally dropped a shoe. There's, uh, I got it, I got it, I'm good, I'm good. Just another day at the office. Nothing weird here. It's fine, totally normal. So I just stand here like an ass. What am I doing? Where'd say, uh, give me a goddamn bourbon and scotch. Yes, I said mix the two. What are you doing? <laughs> a bourbon and scotch. <laughs> like that's his favorite mixed drink. <laughs> I like candy.